Hello, people of the earth, and welcome back to Quick Save TV. My name is Mike, and this is the mission number whatever. <laughs> the terror threat at the um, uh, old church, I think. Let's go. I accidentally outfitted my characters wrong, but I should be fine for the most part. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fantastic. So, you can, as always, go ahead and pause to read all this stuff. It could be really interesting, but I'm not going to pause here. Right, she told us about drugs. She told us about where they're at, and the traps, and the dynamite. Okay, where the bomb is at. And he told us about... That's a shit idea, you should go on... Yeah, that's... I mean, it's a good help. But you can go from all directions, to be honest, if you really wanted to. That's exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> There's a really cool way to do this mission. I'm about to show it to you right now. It's really good. You can simultaneously hit all the directions. Don't look at their skills. You don't actually need so good. But you really need ninja. As many ninjas as you can. Ninjas is such an overpowered skill, honestly. Okay, so... This is going to be left team. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is going to be right team. Is it a good idea? No, it's going to be center team. It's going to be right team. Okay, so we go. Trap. Athlete. Do you have stun button? You do not. So, negotiation. Like this. You. Trap. Athlete. Negotiation. Like this. You. You're gonna be going from another direction. So, so again. Athlete. Trap. Freeze body. Right? Perfect. You. Freeze body. Trap. Athlete and traps, right? We don't actually need so much, but it's completely fine. You don't really need to bother with this stuff. Um, seeing further would be useful, to be honest, but it's not necessary. And it's important to move fast, to be honest. Uh, next, these two people will be our back uh, line, so to speak. They will be doing something else. Aim shot, silencer. Aim shot, silencer. One of them will now have to negotiate with the terrorists. Now, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I don't need anything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm I don't need anything else. Opportunity. Uh, rather, sentry is fine. So these guys will be sitting in ambush while the other guys are advancing. I think it's more than enough. Did I take a sniper with me? I always forget, for some reason. And I run out of water. Perfect. I'm a genius. The opposite of genius. What would it be? A fucking idiot, I think, is the appropriate term. Passive question. So, we're gonna move up with um, Hodges and Jackson here, through this route, right? There's a lot of ho um, um, suspects here, but we should be able to handle it. Jacob and Shinny will be moving up through the right passage, whereas Spurdock and Williams will be sitting here in ambush. It's gonna be a great, great um, way to tackle this, because this way we get to approach through every single direction simultaneously. We don't have to sit and wait, you know, which I really, really, really appreciate. Okay, we don't have to do anything else here, so we can go ahead and sit down. Spur the okay, Jacob, move up. Perfect. We spotted the first trap. It would be really awkward if we stepped into it too. And another trap. Okay. Um. That's the position we want to be in. We have a visual. That's a really safe spot. We're in a great corner where, you know, it's very difficult to spot us. That's exactly where we want to be. Now, Shinny. Shinny is another flanker, so let's go. I guess flanker is not really the correct term. She's just a part of... This is group A, group B. Th these two are group B. And this is group C, let's say. For simplicity's sake. They have different tasks, and I just want to get them into their positions so that they can execute these tasks. That's pretty much it. <laughs> You're the negotiator, right? So, cool. I don't want to accidentally be spotted, too. Okay, they don't look towards at us, so it's good. She should be fine, because he doesn't... He's not going to turn around like this. Let's spend a turn. We only have ten turns. It's another bomb mission, 
right? Uh, so that's the bomb, by the way. That's the bomb right there. But it's difficult to reach it. Reaching it through the center would be a piece of shit, right? But technically, you can just rush to the bomb and defuse it. It's a very easy way to tackle this. But we're not going to do it because it's no fun. Like so. And him, like so. Perfect. We have vision on everyone. Scare him half to death. And cuff him. Very good. Now. Yeah, he's not in a great position. The question is, do I care? Kind of. I kind of care. Still done. What happened with this mission? There was a car here before. I could have swore there was a car. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I guess there wasn't a car. I'm just going nuts. Okay, now we just wait. And these kids should be able to move in, into the building. Should be safe. Just do it carefully, not like elephants, right? The opposite of that. Yeah, we're safe. We can move up. Right, we want to keep an eye on the suspects because... And eventually, when the time is right, we can spring an ambush on them. Both of them has the per have the perk aim, shot, and silence, right? Which allows us to do a single shot without breaking stealth that will allow us to neutralize a suspect. Really good, really good combination. Use negotiation to extend our turns from nine, from nine to 14. Really good again. So for now, we just wait. There's nothing else to do. We're lying in ambush and waiting for them to come to us. Right, they're moving around, but we're not... None of us are threatened. We also don't want to do anything with these guys, with these girls. They want to sit there and wait. We don't want to do anything stupid. It's very easy to do something dumb. Also notice how this uh, uh, suspect did not see his body because he's kind of behind the car, the way I understand it. The line is kind of obstructed. Yeah, we can't force him to surrender. You have to... The, you can't, like... The base chance to cuff somebody is 25% or something. It's abysmal. It's really, really low. So you never want to do it like this. You always want to make sure you do something first. You maybe stun them. Maybe hit them with a baton, right? Maybe hit them with other shit. It doesn't matter. As long as you do something. Because otherwise, it's like, okay... The, you only have one in four chance for it to succeed, you know? Just imagine how low... Uh, think how low it is, you know? Him. We should be safe. It's a little bit of an exposed position, but let me calculate the squares. We should be really safe. We have to calculate the squares to the suspect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, if he goes straight to here, like, they will be able to see him. Somewhere from this line, right? Like this, something. Something along those lines. Like this, maybe. But there's an arc and prevents vision. I don't think they will see him. So, these girls are not doing anything this turn. This guy will want to neutralize right away. And start moving up towards the um, uh, attachment to the church. Uh, I'm not sure how you call this room. Like a, a pastor's room or something like this, you know? I'm, I'm not aware of how the terminology works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, she's not gonna see here. So we just skip turn. We should be perfectly safe to do that. Let me get some good old... I'm not gonna say because it will pain me. I'm gonna get myself some fizzy water, you know? Fuck them. Free ads? No. No free ads here, sorry. Pay for product placements like everybody else. Okay, he sees us. Oof. That's a real oof. But then it's not. On paper. Should be okay. One. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Okay, I'm curious if it's gonna work. So this is how we're gonna tackle this. We don't have a lot of good tools, but we have a couple of okay tools. And on paper, these okay tools should be enough. If they're not enough, 
we fuck up, right? So we're gonna try to throw a flashbang as deep as possible. Okay, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 this is the way I wanna tackle this. He's alerted. That means, next turn, he will raise the alarm. So I have to tackle him right now, right? Right now, or if we fail. So I force him to freeze. This kid, I cannot do this to, right? He's too far away. There's no way to s force him to surrender. Let me demonstrate. When the range is so dramatic, it's not gonna work. See, it doesn't work 50%. That's a terrible odds. You shouldn't take this odds. Shooting is great, but we're gonna raise the alarm. So what we're gonna do is use the flashbangs, which I've taken. <laughs> and from there, what's the range? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This should be safe. On paper. Let's try. And it is. They didn't hear anything. Perfect. So we neutralized both suspects. That was me brute forcing uh, to compensate for my mistake, you know? It was a more delicate way to do that. I failed to do that, so I'm doing it like a moron, realistically, right? There was really no reason for it to go so close, but I was a little bit cocky. I miscalculated the tiles from which he would be able to be seen. Actually, I can count them right now. I'm curious. I'm curious. Slow down. Here's the guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? From ten squares he's seen him. Wow. It's fucking bizarre, to be honest. Move in here. There's no reason to. There's actually no benefit to do that, but... We can, so we might as well. This guy is a bit isolated. We could have liquidated him if I really wanted to, but I don't. There's no reason to rush that much. We've already fucked up a little bit. There's no, re to no reason to fuck up more. Again, no reason to move up so aggressively. So brazenly. I would rather take it slow right now, because, you know... I already had that unfuck one of my catastrophes. I don't want to have more. This was no reason, there was no reason to act this way, right? But I had to, I had to fix my mistake. That was the only clean way to do that. Okay, so. Now we cuff them. And my, she even has enough action points to move all the way here. Look at this. Crazy. Just so. So now she's in position to breach. With him, with Hodges, we just want to pick up the box, and that's it. We don't have to, we don't need him to do anything else. Let's move up, see what's inside. We have a visual. Perfect. He's an okay spot uh, to, to, to stun him. Not perfect, but not terrible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, we're really far away. He shouldn't be able to uh, move up to us immediately. We should be safe. Let's stun him. Or, or force him to freeze for a turn. That's all we need, to be honest. Because these guys, if they even see us, right? It will take them some time to reach us. The enemy works this way. If they see you from the start of the turn, they immediately move to you and raise the alarm. If they see you while moving, they freeze in their tracks and, you know, identify you as a potential threat and try to move up to you next turn, right? So, the way we do it, we have some time to react. So, there's five suspects in this room. Look at this. Oh, one, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> there's four suspects in this room. That's a lot. But it's nothing crazy. And there's a very simple way to resolve this, right? If you want to be a complete dick... You can do this. You can run with your character who has Hunter perk to this position and defuse the bomb immediately, right? That's such a cheesy way to do that, but it's totally you're totally you're totally able to do that. It's, I think it's really fun. But <laughs> you don't have to do it like this. There's more fun ways to do that. We have silencers, so we might as well use them, you know what I mean? Why not? Not like this. With a skill. Right, it gives you a 100% hit chance. Let's neutralize this kid. Uh, 
and neutralize this kid. Again, you want to aim at the torso if you want to neutralize the guy, right? Because aiming at the hand makes it so that he cannot shoot, but he can still raise the alarm, he can still run around like a headless chicken, and it's really frustrating to deal with. But shooting in the torso makes it so that they are incapable to do anything and they're slowly bleeding on the ground, right? That's exactly what you want to have. But you want to know, you want to make sure that you have the time to finish what you started, you know? Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And we can go ahead and defuse the bomb. But honestly, the first one we defuse the bomb. Let's go ahead and feel, uh, make a complete cleanup in this one. The first um, bomb mission, I mean, obviously. Okay. So we have two liquid, uh, two neutralized. Everyone neutralized on this side. Every uh, the right side is also secure, as far as I remember. We picked up the box here. Picked up the box there. And turn. There's no uh, difference between defusing the bomb and uh, arresting every suspect. It still counts as you are as if you arrested all of them, but it just looks cooler, you know? <laughs> it's the only reason why we did it this way. And that's it. That's how you do this mission. So you attack it from the left side, right side, and from the center. And this way you get them in the position from which they cannot, like, easily escape. And you cover your ass as much as humanly possible. Okay, that's that for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon.